Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to use Get Global Data Store. Basically, what it does is you can save data between separate games. So, say you have a leader stat called Win in one game, and you added on a win in one of your other games, it would add it to the other game. So, I'm going to show you how to do that today. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is make a leader stat script. It's pretty simple. You zoom in here. All you have to do is when a uh, when the player is added, we want to say that the player is an actual player. So in here, we're gonna write player, and then we're gonna make our leader stat script. And do not put it as an integer value. Make it a folder. Now we want to create our wins. It could be anything, it could be cash, money, whatever you want. But it doesn't really matter what it is. So as you can see our leader stat script did work. So now we're gonna go to the data store. So how this is gonna start is we're gonna define the data store. So we can do local DS, which is short for data store, is equal to game get service. We wanna get the data store service, put a colon, and then get global data store. Just like that. Alright. And then we can do the same thing as last time. Game dot players dot player added connect function and we'll put player and then we'll put wait and then we can get the player's key. So local player key is equals to id underscore two parentheses and then put player dot user id so that's the player's key and then we can do local save one obviously you can do more than one save is equals to player dot leader stats dot wins all right and then we can do local saved is equal to data star get async and inside here you just write player key all right and then if saved so if just save data then save one dot value equals get saved not get saved just write saved and then write a one because this is our first data that we want to save and then we can write an else if the player is not saved then what we can write is what could we, we'll do local number for saving is equal to a table so like that and then we can write save one dot value right, and then underneath this we can do ds so data star get async and then you want to write player key comma space number for saving and then in between not no like under all this you can do game dot players dot player removing connect that to a function and then just write player again in here and then we can do ds so data star set async and then we can write id underscore two parentheses and then we can write player dot user id 
and then we can write a comma put these squiggly lines in it might be a bit hard to see in the recording and then we can do player dot leader stats dot wins dot value so that's the data store done if you want the data store to actually work you need to go to game settings and then we're just going to publish this game as for for youtube and I'll save now if we go to game settings go to security and just enable this and this and then press save alright so say you want to save some uh, like data from another game to this game all we're gonna have to do is go to view asset manager and then this thing in the, in the left of your screen will pop up double click on places right click and then press add new place and then open that place so this will be the other game that you want to save your data to so as you can see now we're in the other game what you want to do is grab your scripts from the other game copy them and then go ahead and paste them into here and what we can do to make sure this actually works is right here we'll do a while true do wait 10 uh, yeah just wait 10 we can do wins dot value equals wins dot value plus uh, we'll just do plus 1 just like that we'll just put it to 5 so now we're gonna publish the Roblox and publish to Roblox. Make sure both games have the security enabled, just like that. And then we're gonna go into the actual game and see if it works. We also need something to teleport the player to the other game. So I'm gonna go and create that real quick, and I'll be about 10 minutes, but for you, it'll probably be like five seconds. Alright, so I've done the script and we're going to publish the Roblox and go in the actual game, see if it works. So as you can see, we are in the game and now we have uh, we have zero wins. So we're going to go step on this platform and it should teleport us. If you can see, we have been teleported to the other game. So our win has just added up one. So that two, we're gonna wait until we have five, three, four, and five. So now, if we go into here and teleport back to our game, we should have five wins in the other game. Here we are. Look, we have six wins. So our data saved across two separate games. If you enjoyed this video, uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.